The scientific method is a systematic process used to investigate questions, test ideas, and develop knowledge about the natural world. It is based on observation, experimentation, and analysis. Scientists begin by making observations and asking questions about what they see. Then they form a hypothesis, which is an educated guess or prediction. This hypothesis is tested through experiments, where data is collected and analysed to determine if the hypothesis is correct. Its ultimate goal is to build a reliable and accurate understanding of how things work. The origins of the scientific method can be traced back to ancient civilizations, where people used observation and experimentation to learn about their environment. Early thinkers like Aristotle in ancient Greece laid the groundwork by emphasising the importance of empirical evidence, all knowledge gained through observation. However, the scientific method, as we know it today, began to take shape during the Renaissance, a period of renewed interest in science and learning. In the 16th and 17th centuries, scientists like Galileo Galilei made significant contributions to the development of the scientific method. Galileo emphasised careful observation and experimentation. Another key figure was Sir Isaac Newton, who applied the scientific method to study motion and gravity, setting a standard for how science could be conducted. Over time, the scientific method became the foundation for modern scientific inquiry, helping humanity achieve remarkable advancements in technology, medicine and understanding the universe. The scientific method follows a series of steps that guide the process of discovery. The first step is making observations. Scientists begin by noticing something in the natural world that sparks curiosity. For example, a biologist might observe that certain plants grow better in sunlight than in shade and wonder why this happens. These observations lead to questions that need answers. The second step is forming a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess that explains the observations and can be tested. For instance, the biologist might hypothesise that sunlight provides plants with the energy they need to grow. This step is crucial because it provides a clear idea to test during experiments. The third step is designing and conducting experiments. Experiments are carefully controlled tests that collect data to evaluate the hypothesis. Scientists often include control groups and repeat their experiments multiple times to ensure the results are accurate. For example, the biologist might grow one group of plants in sunlight and another in shade to compare their growth. The fourth step is analysing the data. Once the experiment is complete, scientists examine the results to determine whether they support or contradict the hypothesis. If the plants in sunlight grow significantly better than those in shade, the hypothesis is supported. If not, the hypothesis may need to be revised or rejected. The fifth step is drawing conclusions. Based on the analysis, scientists summarise their findings and consider their implications. They may also propose new questions or hypotheses to explore further. For example, if the hypothesis is supported, the biologist might investigate how sunlight affects other aspects of plant health. Finally, scientists communicate their results. Sharing findings with others in the scientific community allows for peer review, replication of experiments, and building on previous work. This transparency helps ensure that scientific discoveries are reliable and contribute to a growing body of knowledge. The scientific method has many benefits that make it an essential tool for understanding the world. One major benefit is its objectivity. By relying on evidence and logical reasoning, the scientific method minimises the influence of personal biases or opinions. This helps ensure that conclusions are based on facts rather than assumptions or beliefs. Another benefit is its adaptability. The scientific method can be applied to a wide range of questions and problems, from studying the behaviour of animals to developing new medicines or technologies. Its flexible nature allows scientists to explore complex issues and adapt their approach as new information becomes available. The scientific method also promotes innovation and progress. By encouraging curiosity and systematic exploration, it has led to countless discoveries and inventions. For example, the scientific method played a key role in the development of vaccines, space exploration, and advancements in renewable energy. Despite its strengths, the scientific method is not without criticism. One common critique is that it can be overly rigid. The structured nature of the method may not always capture the complexity of real-world phenomena. For example, in fields like psychology or sociology, human behaviour can be difficult to study using controlled experiments as it is influenced by many unpredictable factors. 
The scientific method is also sometimes criticised for its focus on measurable outcomes. While this emphasis helps ensure precision, it can overlook important qualitative aspects of phenomena, such as emotions or cultural significance. For instance, studying the impact of art on society may require approaches that go beyond the strict confines of the scientific method.